cosplay toward Borderlands 2. Cosplay. Okay. $10 from Punked. The place here's song and voice moved me enough to donate. Monoxite donated $15, just had to donate for La Placier's stellar music, musical performance. Nick and Pachi donated $50. I'm glad you guys are doing this. I've always loved Super Mario Land 2, and playing it to prevent cancer is awesome. $25 anonymous donation. Hail from the Netherlands. Good luck with the run, entering the stream, enjoying the streams, and all for a good cause. Also, is what is up with Mario and two controllers? Thousand people who test, are watching test, this. Test. Oh, hello. Yep. <laughs> Can you hear us? Uh, whenever you're ready, get it now. Okay. Three. Oh, by the way, a warning, um, Prana Plants kill you, just to let you know. Three, two, one, and go. Super Mario World Lost Levels. I love this game. To my uh, left is Garrison. He's, he's, <laughs> he's the guy who got me into this. And to my right is Andrew G. Hello. I really, I really like this game. Uh, this was uh, a game that people uh, originally found too hard for the, for the uh, American audience, the rest of the world. So they kind of chose a different game? <laughs> yeah, they, they, I guess they gave us the, the regular Mario 2 <laughs> instead of this harder version Super of Super Mario Brothers USA. Yeah. 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 But, uh, this game is really infamous just for like a difficulty level that's absurd. Like almost ROM hackish. A lot of people just consider it a ROM hack of Super Mario Brothers 1, even though it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, this is also the game where uh, Luigi has different physics from Mario. Yeah. So Luigi, um, Luigi jumps higher than Mario by a block, and uh, this allows for some. Uh, different techniques, but it also makes it some of it a little bit trickier. He's a little slippery to, to handle. Um, when you slow down, you, have, you slide a few, maybe two extra blocks farther than Mario. Um, so it's it's harder to control Luigi than Mario, really. But it's not impossible, as you can see. No, it's impossible. He's, he's just doing it. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Andrew. It's real hard. You just got to plan ahead, that's all. <laughs> yeah, um, all you have to do is keep running and keep practicing it. I'm, I promise you, the game can be just like the original Super Mario Brothers. But as I'm playing it, I'm doing a lot of things to uh, correct Luigi's velocity here, like uh, holding left and right in midair and that kind of stuff. That spot's... You can't go by that really quickly, so that slowdown was intentional. Another example of what makes this uh, game different from uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. They put all sorts of obstacles so that you don't can't just uh, hold run button and press right. So, you gotta manage your speed in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Mostly getting the star there because um, the other method involves a few different pipe jumps and it's, it's pretty tricky. Um, doable, but uh, probably... Mm, definitely not marathon Yeah, save. exactly, exactly. Hoppy, hoppy, hop. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening to or watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2014 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. We are currently watching a warpless run of Super Mario Brothers Lost Levels. If you would like to see the warp run, please donate for the 80% warps run of, I'm sorry, of uh, Super, Mario Super Mario Brothers. Uh, we are currently at a donation total of 586 toward a $2,000 goal. There's another pipe jump that is just, it's just very difficult for a marathon run.
I love this one. A lot of people don't even, couldn't really, <laughs> some people can't figure out how to get by that part. Hmm. It's just like, am I supposed to try and jump across the gap somehow? <laughs> There's a lot of places in this game where they tried to sort of trick the player, and you gotta think beyond that and just jump around and hit some blocks. Hmm. All levels in this game is a bit different from the first one. That it doesn't go just go to uh, eight four. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, he has. Um, After World Eight is actually well, there's another world that you get secret <laughs> for uh, for beating the game Warfless all through the eight worlds, and then there's an additional worlds A, A through D, um, which are much more challenging and pretty tricky to root. Bowser is pretty random. It's not. Uh, it's not always consistent what he's going to do. So you have to. You when you really have to get to him, just figure out if he's going backwards, forward, or kind of doing like a backward, backward and then forward movement, <laughs> and uh, adjust for whatever's needed. Really. Normally, what happens is that he goes all the way backwards and uh, butt stops me. It's supposed to be butt stopping him, but a lot of the times he he kind of fakes it out. And you could get, and you could have gotten past him. A lot of times you just have to uh, guess that he's gonna fake you out and just hope he doesn't kill you in a speed run. Yeah, unfortunately, the RNG factor is very high in this game. Uh, just a lot of you gotta react to what's going on because there's just so many variables. The water stages, like this water stage, is especially tricky just because. Most of the enemy spawns are random, and you just have to basically go with the flow. Um, these pits suck you down. You can see he kind of slows down, but it's not him slowing down, it's the game pulling him down. Um, and it happens in this level and, like, a bunch of times, right here. And uh, it's kind of, it's almost, it almost feels random, just like, you, hard to memorize exactly where each one is, so it, it really trip, trips you up. Yeah, there's so much, like you can get in such bad positions just because of the spawns in combination with those pits. The water stages are very sort of nerve-wracking. So um, on the flagpole, if you've, you've been t paying attention, he's been jumping backwards on most of them, and it's because when you jump backwards on the flagpole, um, you, you get off the flagpole a little bit quicker than if you jump on it normally. Um, the other thing is he's jumping at the very top of the flagpole, and the reason he's doing, he's doing that besides he's jumping at the bottom where you'd think he'd jump um, is because when he gets off the flagpole, he gets to the castle quicker, and that's what starts the next level sooner. So if you jump at the bottom, it's really going to waste, it's, it might waste like, 10 frames or so, and uh, cause you to miss a frame rule, but that's a little, <laughs> that's a little tr tricky to Pretend you didn't hear that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, more invisible blocks. It's going to be a recurring oops, theme. Oops. So uh, this level is actually a maze. <laughs> And he accidentally went past the <laughs> maze point, so he has to go oh, through it right. again. But it wasn't too bad. Think of this as a tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> right, too easy. So while he's running, um, I know that I I've done the warps of this, and uh, for this level, 
If you finish in a perfect time, you, you end with a seven at the last digit on the clock. And uh, you can't have that match. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you can't have that match the last digit on the coins. So if so, it's, see how it says 48 on the coins? If his last digit on the timer was an eight, he would have gotten fireworks, and that would have slowed down his time. Um, so constantly throughout the run, you're, he has to check up, look at the coins and say, is it going to match? If, if so, I better slow down or speed up <laughs> to avoid it. It's funny with Luigi, you have, to, you have to make sure you don't jump over the flagpole, <laughs> which everyone always tried to do in the original. The game's actually designed for you to uh, jump over the flagpole. There are a couple of uh, secrets in the game. Yeah. And there are also a couple of... <laughs> of uh, they're pretty mean. <laughs> one of them warps you back to world one, I think. <laughs> not, not, There's uh, a few backwards warps scattered around. Yeah. So this, these bullet placements are a bit random, and sometimes they'll get right in your way. And uh, there's a few patterns that he actually had one bullet that was that was right in the way, and he had to go under it. Yep. Um, sometimes I have to jump and then just slightly adjust my jump, yeah. or like hit hit a platform to stop yourself from from dying. Oops. At uh, the beginning of the stage, if I were to just walk <coughs> off, I go right into the pit, like. I turn around like that so I don't walk off into the pit. It's like a silly place to die, but whatever. <laughs> That's like oh. a good. That's okay. Well, the other thing is Bowser's fireballs are random, also. So, um, towards the end here, he has to adjust for that. Yeah, See, that, that's yeah. just complete yeah. randomness. And There's not really much you can do much, about it. Exactly. Can't really do much to avoid that. Besides slowing down, which obviously he doesn't want to do. Um, <laughs> there's a point to me not slowing down. Uh, in this is game, the, one of the biggest things that makes this game hard is that you want to always do safe strats. You always want to get the, uh, the uh, power-ups, because certainly that's not going to kill you. But the problem is, is that um, if you get... If you get, if you get big Luigi, that means that you're bigger. Enemies can uh, easily hit you. You have to duck. There's a lot of obstacles that you have to duck jump in to avoid getting hit. So uh, for the most part, it really isn't worth the time unless you're just going to get fireballs and, uh, and just kill all the enemies. So that's what I would recommend if you want to play this game. Just play through it small and just practice getting through everything. Yeah, the tr really, I mean, the tricky thing is they're just, they, they designed it to put everything in your way and <laughs> just stop you. I, I've heard rumors that Miyamoto was in a bad mood when he made this. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> very might well be. It is now a good time to read donations. That's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead and read donations throughout the whole thing. <laughs> All right. $40 from PC Guy. Thanks for doing these runs. Watching the stream has helped me to get through the work day. $50 from Christian Bodnar. My dad was just diagnosed with malignant melanoma and it's been somewhat jarring. Thank you for using one of our favorite pastimes to help minimize this problem. $100 from Asmaria. Hello from France, it's Asmaria. Despite the problems to follow you, thank you for, uh, to Germany for their kindness and especially thank you to speedrunners speed that give us, always want to break our joysticks so that they give us good show. <laughs> $100 from Pappy Sam. My MV is DDoS, oh. but the French are here. We love AGDQ. So 
this, in this stage, there's actually a, um, a maze. If you go straight forward, instead of going down the pipe, it loops back to the beginning of the stage. Um, uh, here's a little bit of a randomness in the, in the game. There's, there's a bullet bill right here. Oh yeah, you gotta slow down right here. So the only way to really manage it is to learn how to react to them. He's gonna try one more hit. Okay, he didn't do it. So um, in practicing for this game, basically you just have to keep on playing, and the game will give you different random, um, different random positions, and you just have to get used to everything and get used to uh, maneuvering around things. Just a quick update, we are now well past $175,000. We have a $10 anonymous donation, a little contribution from a poor Norwegian student. You're doing amazing work with this stream, keep it up. $25 from Dr. Elite. This is my first time tuning into you guys. I heard about it from a friend. My grandmother died of cancer when I was only a baby. Thank you guys for all you're doing. $50 from Warren Traveler. A year ago, one of my aunts was in chemotherapy. I am happy to say that she is now cancer-free and that her rehabilitation is going very well. PCF is an amazing organization and the runners from SDA and SRL are amazing. I always like that staircase. It's like the most unusual staircase, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Although I don't know why they put that prana plant there. Yeah. Because it automatically disappears before you can get to it. That's like the, the prana plant in 3-4. Yeah. It disappears. <coughs> Hooray, another water level. <laughs> so, again, it's the same situation. The, the enemies are randomly placed, really. The enemies are strategically placed, Yeah, really. strategically placed to... Uh, like, look at this Do you see that? What's that? <laughs> this also features Koopa's... Koopas who can go underwater. I always found that funny when I first played this. I was not used to that. Yeah, you saw how he just hopped off of the uh, flagpole. There's a power up I uh, passed by. There's another one. Don't kill me. Oh, okay. He killed me. I passed by the midway point anyway. I'll stop right here. Don't kill me. Oh. Uh, the, this fish, is, the fish spawns are. They're pretty much random. There are some certain patterns that they follow. Whee. But if you slow down, then who knows what's going to happen, yeah. really. Yeah. Honestly, that's exactly what happened. When you slow down, and then you have to just dodge all of them. And they, they slow down when you slow down, too, to try and uh, match you. To that's true. <laughs> I believe the reason he jumped at the beginning there is because if you don't jump, you have slightly, if you jump, don't jump at the beginning of a stage, you have slightly floaty or um, falling speed. Yep. Um, what, after you jump, it, your, your falling speed becomes a little bit greater, which is strange. The uh, beginning of this level is just uh, trolly. Yeah, that, it looks like... Hey, Bowser. Yeah, at this stage, it's uh, a little bit tougher with Mario. 
because of the, uh, the large gaps that he has to cross. But with Luigi, it's a little bit easier. Just a little bit, though. And this is one of my favorite worlds right here. This is one of my least favorite. <laughs> it has so much good variety. Look at that. It has wind. It has those guys. Oh, it's a good level, but it's def very difficult. <laughs> very difficult. And the reason he's getting a star there is because this part coming up, yeah, those Hammer Brothers, and then this right here, both of those are extremely tricky to get by yep. without a star. Um, the star hardly wastes time, so it's yep. a very um, pretty optimal strat. Yep. So, in uh, speed running this, um, you do a lot of uh, less risky strats to start off with. Then you do stuff like that. But yeah, you do a lot of uh, less risky strats until you can actually strategies, until you can actually get through the game consistently. And then you can just try uh, uh, more complicated things. I like this uh, Lakitu. It just like does nothing. Oh, I didn't know you could make that. <laughs> <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> yeah. Even Mario can make that. Ah, uh, seven three. This may be people's uh, worst stage right here. Oh, <laughs> I'm terrible at this. This this is very very difficult. That is very tricky to land on it and keep the speed. Um, there's a lot of places where you want to land like on the very right side of the screen just to give yourself like not only do you need enough speed but you need to like hit certain platforms so you can skip cycles so to speak. I may right. not make this gap. Yeah this one I was just gonna say. <laughs> yep okay I was gonna say this is one of those, those springs right here. It's uh... <laughs> oh, <shoot. Ooh>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you clapping at that? <laughs> <laughs> I get fireworks from my, uh, from me completing the level. <laughs> sure. There's so. wind. Right, right. Yo. Yeah, so the wind, yeah, the wind is uh, an added <laughs> element of this game, as is the like the red piranha plants. I kind of messed that one up, so I have to do the new strat here, yeah. but. So all I have to do is just do light jumps. That's all you got to do to complete that. <coughs> Wait here. The thing about this level is, the uh, this level is repeated in the later levels. It's like it's the same type of level, so it's the same challenge. It's a, yeah, but it's um, added difficulty. <laughs> Hello, Bowser. This is, this is not a favorable pattern. Yeah. Um, One Bowser. There we go. Especially, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fire, the fire bar was really in the way there. Yeah, the fire bar is the worst part about that because not only do you have Bowser walking towards you most of the time, he's throwing the hammers. You got the fire bar in the one place where you can run under him. So it's just like you got to wait it out for the first safe opportunity. Hello, eight one. Eight dash one is one of the harder mm. stages in the game. I'm gonna try risky first. Oh, well, I'm not gonna try risky first. Oh, very the, close. Uh, the problem is, is that once you stop, then the RNG takes over. But what I can do, what you can do is, if you can do that without stopping, then this is what happens. Ooh, There it is. Damn. Right. Oh. That was Thank an absolutely you. flawless, <laughs> absolutely flawless round of 8-1, which is uh, in the top five, I'd say, of the hardest levels in the game. It's also one of the favorite levels because yeah, it's, it's of a fun the skill level. needed. It's a fun level. Speaking of fun levels. <laughs> Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, that, okay, 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 okay. That's one of the, the, one of the uh, lesser known glitches. 
Yeah, I, I've done that um, at 7-4 as well. The game thought I was inside the uh, the block, and so I, I just got uh, killed by him. Oops. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I won't do that trick again, but... Basically but, right there, he's trying to... He's trying to um, <laughs> jump on the Koopa, hit the block, and then land back on the Koopa so that he can get to the vine yeah. even quicker than normally, po normally possible. Yeah. But here's the alternate way of doing it. Just go like that. I was going to get you. And jump on that again. If you, it's another one of those levels that if you didn't catch that, then you would have just gone forward past a hammer brother, which would probably have killed you. And then there's even a secret star there to th make you think that you're supposed to get it. You get past that hammer brother. So it's very troll level. 8-3 so. is also a very trolly level. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, for people who don't, haven't played it before. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely casual because uh, there are certain enemies that are very awkward places. So one thing to mention here is he's jumping right next to these Hammer hammer Brothers, and between each one, there's uh... Yeah, no, you're not doing that. Let's try this again. They have poison mushrooms yeah. scattered right, in between, uh... <laughs> okay, there To make is. those jumps even harder than they already yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that one, uh, you go through the level and you're just running and running, and then you realize you're supposed to actually uh, balance that uh, thing out. What's it called? Uh, what, what are those the called? The lifts? I, I don't know. Elevator lifts? Scales? Scale lifts. Ah, oh, shoot. I was trying to let that by before commentating on it. So you have, to, you have to play this fast. There's nothing to do about it. You got to do this fast. There we go. Sheesh. I guarantee it's easier than hesitating. There's a lot of spots. It starts you off, and it's really hard to accelerate. So it looks it looks slow, but it's like it looks like he's going slow, but he's actually doing it optimally. It's like this spot right here. Can't really do it fast without uh, wasting some extra time. All right. This is arguably the hardest the hardest part of this run right here. Really, if I were to take that fast, it's likely I would actually uh, get dumped into that little that little one block pit. They crafted this game pretty well. So that was the uh, that wasn't the actual Bowser. That was just uh, it's Bowser's yeah. twin. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of uh, Act One in this game. I get a little intermission. Uh, I get a little kiss here. Thankfully. Good time to read donations. Time to read donations. Yeah. All right, fifty dollars from Dot Flack. Hello, every awesome one present there for AGDQ, twenty fourteen. Donations for the PCF is something I want to do as I cross the path of the cancer as much in my radio technician work as in my personal life, as my stepmother is fighting incredibly well against it. I dedicate my little drop of money in this ocean of donations to every people fighting it, and hopefully to the ones that will find one day a cure to spare us. $50 from an anonymous donor. I had no idea there was such a thing as a speed run of Minecraft. Donating because I want to see that, also a great cause. Minecraft is $19,000 short of its $20,000 goal, so now's a good time to donate. <laughs> um, Come on, guys, Minecraft. I know, it's Minecraft. Fifty dollars uh, from an anonymous donor. Keep on fighting the good fight. Fifty dollars from EMT. Love watching people speed through Mario games, especially the ones I grew up on. Another one of the reasons why I chose to run this game is it kicked my butt as a kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I handed the controller over to my sister to complete levels for me when I was younger. $100 from Chris May. <laughs> I've been watching speedruns for a couple of years now and have so much respect for a community of genuine, good human peoples. Keep, uh, keep up with the good work. Let the runner decide. Runner decide what? Where the money goes. Uh, $100, where do you want it to go? <laughs> <laughs> from Mario Lost Lowell. Um, <laughs> we are currently on... What's the, what's the next, uh, next game should have a donation, right? 
Well, we have several Mario donations that are currently not at their meet, uh, have not met their goal. Uh, let me refresh here. Super Mario Brothers, uh, any percent warps run is at six hundred ninety-one dollars out of a two thousand dollar goal. So that would be a good choice. Okay. Also have. Is there another? Is there another uh, one? Mario Three Warp run, Warps Run by Mitch. We are at one hundred and seventy-one dollars out of a two thousand five hundred dollar goal. Okay. What do you want? All right, let's do the next, the, new, the next Mario one, the, uh, the warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah the warp one. Mario right. 3 warp? All right. Yep. 457, go. <laughs> so, most, I'm sure that most people who played this game never saw this screen. It's just because the only way to get to World 9 is to beat the game warpless. Uh, if you use the warps, then World 9 doesn't appear. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it spells out arigato, which is thank you. Yep. <laughs> Didn't you know that? <laughs> Honestly, I I, I'm not playing this game with uh, power-ups anyway, so. All right. So I don't, I don't know why I decided to rely on RNG to get past those uh, Hammer Brothers, but hey, we'll do it. Normally, I do a, a safer strategy. So these, these, this is where it starts to get a little trickier because uh, <laughs> world A, a and D. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> if it wasn't tricky enough, yeah. <laughs> wait for world D. Twenty dollars from uh, Labrizzi. I can't resist throwing my wallet at such a great stream. Thank you all over at AGDQ for doing this. Yesterday was my 21st birthday and I had to spend it at my grandmother's funeral. So coming home to this wonderful stream really helps me, help me through these rough times. Thanks again. $20 from Oliver Wozniaka. For the awesome game of my childhood, thanks for an epic run against cancer. Greetings from Germany. $25 from Bjorn Kirsten Mo. Greetings from Norway, second donation of the run so far. Just wanted to wish you luck with the rest of the marathon. Shout out to Brandon, watching the stream of work in Seattle. Posthuman donates $25 and says, I'll donate again today if everybody in the room high fives. With <laughs> I think that was good enough. <laughs> $25 from Daniel Hollick. Nothing ah, says charity. Get the stairs, get the stairs. Nothing says charity like selflessly sacrificing sleep and sanity for the entertainment of others. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, come on. See? There. Yeah. You see, he is going to pull back, and then he pulls forward. Defying gravity in the process. Yeah, the toads, uh, they get bored and start pulling tricks. Oh, I love Will B. Will B is like the most, one of the most athletic in this game. Makes a good speed run. Now, um, ever since World 8, there, there are no midway checkpoints. They are not, no. This is completely unique. Um, there are some levels that are familiar, like uh, you'll see um, C. Yeah. World C3 and C4 will look a lot like World 7. Yeah. $10 from Liquid Flood. Good luck, TJP, and those frame-perfect piranha plant pipe jumps still get me every time. Barhawk donates 10. He says, this is for all the dungeons and Twilight Princess. I lost three grandparents, one uncle, and several family friends to cancer, so happy to join the fight.
They're genius. I like these extremely long fire bars. <laughs> Not seen in the original. <laughs> oh, the original had them. What are you talking about? Well, maybe they did. Well, five, five, four. You do run the game, right? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I think this, out of all the levels, this one's my favorite level. $20 from BSS, making another donation. Yay. As always, thank you to the runners and shout outs to all the technical crew keeping oh, things no. running smoothly. Don't kill me. And I get some fireworks to celebrate my victory. Uh, in this game, um, I haven't really uh, tested it, but um, uh, you get like three fireworks or six fireworks, but most of it seems to be like six fireworks. And you can even get a one-up sometimes, too. Oops. Yeah. You'll see that this is one of those levels that looks like a maze. But it's actually not a maze until you enter a pipe. Not a maze, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Playing as Luigi gets a little tricky to navigate through some of these tight areas. But he does it anyway. It can't stop. <laughs> the fireballs will still get you. First game over or second? Second. DJ Dak donates twenty dollars and says, "Hi everyone. My grandfather died Please. to cancer when I was little. <laughs> I really appreciate what you are doing to help other people avoid that fate." One hundred dollars from Beatrim. We need to get this small uh, SMW run, Mario run incentive people. It's amazing to watch. $50 from Crayla. Hello from Mexico. Amazing charity event. Keep up the great work. $20 and two cents from Kiko. Kio. Combining retro games with a fun, uh, fun for cancer. How could I not contribute? There's nothing you can do about that guy. Yeah, that blooper is either in the right pattern or he's not. Yeah. Then you have that guy right there, yeah. This level I I really like because it's um, it's a level that you see also see in um, the arcade version of Mario Brother, Super Mario Brothers, right. and uh, I, I consider this to be one of the harder one of the, one of the hardest stages in the game as far as the arcade version. There this there we go. It's quite similar. There's a little it's a little bit of a combination between. Mario won the lost levels and then just some added things. But that stage is uh, quite tricky. Okay, this is the one that's the uh, almost exact duplicate of 7 3, with the addition of our friend Mr. Lackerton here. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's Luigi. That's what Luigi does. Right, uh, but honestly, the Lackerton was not going to kill you. There's like only one one pattern where he throws a well-placed spiny. Besides that, trying to compensate between the wind, Luigi's sl slipperiness, and just not even being able to see yourself on screen gets a little bit tricky. Yeah. Uh, I might pass this gap, maybe. We'll see. This is where I have to stop. 
because that fire bar may just be in the wrong position and kill me. Uh, unlike 7-3, where I can just safely always get past him with skill. A $100 Anisha, from Anisha in Sweden. Great job raising money. We will fight the big ugly sea with everything we got. A big hello to Emil and Nick in the audience. And this is almost uh, identical to 7-4. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the patterns of these guys, I uh, and they explain that once you get to World 9, the patterns of enemies are faster, and uh, they're more uh, buzzy beetles than Goombas. It's essentially equivalent of second quest as far as the enemy speeds on uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. That's right. He's coming for me. Okay. And I could have gotten that. Careful. It's the same deal as before. Please. Nope. Well, that was a, I got it this time now. That was a lot easier than last time. <laughs> ah. World D. World D. Consider these are the hardest levels of the game. Um, Especially, well, D1 and D3, th this one. Ten dollars from Bradley N. Great work on the lost levels and the stream in general. Nice to see uh, the ending of a game I never got very far in. <coughs> Sveen donates ten dollars. Keep up the great work. Um, that's on purpose. That's just to tank past this. Get rid of uh, the RNG, the positioning of those, uh, those Hammer Brothers. At the beginning, yeah. DJP developed a strategy to uh, get right through two hammers <laughs> at the start. If you saw it, it yeah. was uh, it's a very precise trick, and he nailed it. And only because the, in Super Mario Bros. 3, I did the same exact thing. The other thing is uh, the Koopa floating in the air. He managed to, to get by uh, that gap, which is it's, uh, sometimes very tricky. We have one hundred dollars from Benjamin Crisco. Thanks for all the hard Sorry. work. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't do it. It's like reliving my childhood, except it's in an alternate childhood where I wasn't terrible at these games. <laughs> Two hundred dollars from Pointing Dancer. Hello from Germinch, French German community. For me, you are the true heroes, guys. I love you all. I love this level. D three has. Just a lot of RNG. RNG be nice, okay. Favorable. RNG. Favorable. RNG. RNG. Okay. Everything so far completely RNG. intentional. Ah, shoot. I should have gone down. Okay, oh. okay. No, RNG. Don't worry about exactly what it stands for. Just think everything is random. Like the positions or anything like that. That's what the R stands for. But I was hoping not to, to comment about this level before I actually uh, did something I'm talking about here. So these these guys are oh, they're always just they they could be placed anywhere yeah. and the only way to really avoid it is to jump on the coin. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> well, up or down, up or down, up or down. Uh, he's, okay. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Those right. shoot too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Those guys. That was that was very. Oh, man, that's taken me like ten times before. So we have to stop for that long fire bar because um, there's no way to get by it otherwise. This is like the uh, the slow route, a little bit safe route. This guy's a joke. You can always just jump over him. Wait a little bit here, just yeah. jump a gap. Do you have to make a slight hesitation because otherwise the piranha plant across the gap will be up yep. and um, you'll have to jump out the edge of the pipe to live. And this, here's the mini bowser again. And the last challenge right here. 
Oh no! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, there it is. And time. I can't hear you. <laughs> time, please. Okay, that's not bad. Excellent. Ah. Oh, man. Lost levels. Uh, Mario is also good to watch. So, all right. Oh, maybe. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, right now we have nine hundred eleven dollars and ninety nine cents toward the two thousand goal to see Super Mario Brothers Warps run. Next up on the schedule is Andrew G. running Super Mario Brothers Warpless. We're going to go to commercial and we'll be right back here at Awesome Games Done Quick 2014. <laughs> Um, can we, uh, can you grab that? What? The NES. I can't I, grab it, really. Well, oh, well, I don't know. Well, I... You want me to put the controller in? You have to, you have to hook the, uh, Nintendo. We're gonna hook this up. Yep. Um, you got it? Yeah, okay. You have to put the Nintendo in. <coughs> oh. I didn't realize that was plugged in. Would, would you be able to like, um, unhook the NES and maybe I don't I don't know how we, I don't know how we do, I don't know how we do this.